Today we are on page 5 of our chapter 3 notes packet. We'll be looking at dividing radicals. Number 1, we have 40 square root of 20 divided by 2 square root of 5. We'll divide 40 by 2 is 20. Square root of 20 divided by the square root of 5 is square root of 4. And simplify the square root of 4 is 2, so 20 times 2 is 40. Number two, we have the square root of 18 25ths. Well now, a denominator is a perfect square, so we can pull out its square root. And with our numerator, well, let's just simplify the square root of 18. We'll break that down into 9 times 2. And the square root of 9 is 3. So that would be 3 square root of 2 over 5. Number three. We have two, 12 plus 4 square root of 2 divided by 4. Now each term of the numerator needs to be divided by 4, so we're going to split this up. We're going to write this as 12 divided by 4 plus 4 square root of 2 divided by 4. Now 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 square root of 2 divided by 4. The 4 is divided out, so we're simply left with square root of 2. Number 4. Same thing here. We have 18 plus the square root of 72 divided by 3. Each term of the numerator is being divided by 3. So let's split this up. 18 divided by 3 plus the square root of 72 divided by 3. Now, the square root of 72 can be simplified. So let's write this as 36 times 2. and the square root of 36 is 6. So we have 6 plus 6 square root of 2 divided by 3. And the 6 and the 3 reduce. So our final answer is 6 plus 2 square root of 2. On the next page, on page 6, we're going to do the odd problems. Right. Number 15, this is 7 divided by the square root of 7y. Well, we cannot divide a radical into a whole number. And we cannot leave a radical as a denominator. So we have to, what we call, rationalize this denominator. So we need to bring the denominator up to a perfect square so that we can take its square root. So we'll multiply by 1 in the form of square root of 7 over square root of 7. So we have 7 square root of 7y. Sorry, that would be square root of 7y over the square root of 7y that we're multiplying by. Now the square root of 7y times the square root of 7y will bring us to square root of 49 y squared. You don't have to write that. Okay. That is a perfect square. Out comes its square root. So we have 7 square root of 7y divided by 7y. And now reduce. The 7's divide out. Our answer is square root of 7y over y. Number 17, square root of 18c to the third divided by square root of 9c. Again, there's two different approaches we can apply here. Um, we can actually do the division, or we could simplify, and then simplify each radical, and then simplify our fraction. I'm going to do the division, and that is the square root of 18c to the third divided by the square root of 9c. Well, 18 divided by 9 is 2, and c to the third divided by c to the first would be c to the second. So this is the square root of 2c squared. Now simplify. c squared is a perfect square. Out comes its square root. 
which is C, and then the square root of 2 remains. Number 19. All right, we have a binomial in the numerator and a monomial in the denominator. So we're going to divide each term of the numerator by 3 square root of 5. So let's break this up. 3 square root of 10 divided by 3 square root of 5 minus 9 square root of 50 divided by 3 square root of 5. Here the 3's divide out, then the square root of 10 divided by the square root of 5 is square root of 2. 9 and 3 reduce. And the square root of 50 divided by the square root of 5 is square root of 10. Square root of 10 cannot be simplified, so this is our final answer. Number 21. Again, divide each term of the numerator by the denominator. So let's break this up. Square root of 20 divided by the square root of 5 minus square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5. The square root of 20 divided by the square root of 5 is square root of 4 minus square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 is square root of 1. These are both perfect squares. So this is 2 minus 1 which is 1. Number 23. Again, divide each term of the numerator by the denominator. Square root of 10 divided by the square root of 10 plus square root of 15 divided by the square root of 10. Square root of 10 divided by the square root of 10 is 1. Square root of 15 divided by the square root of 10. Well, this reduces to dividing by 5, square root of 3, over the square root of 2. All right, now we may not leave a radical in a denominator, so we have to rationalize this denominator. We do so by multiplying by the square root of 2 over square root of 2. And now this becomes just this portion right here. This would be the square root of 6 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. Let me bring down the 1. So this is 1 plus square root of 6 over 2. That's our final answer. Number 25, we have cube roots here. Again, we're going to take each term of the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So we have the cube root of 27x to the third divided by the cube root of 3x to the third plus the cube root of 36x to the fifth divided by the cube root of 3x to the third. Same root, so we can actually divide here. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So we have the cube root of 9. And x to the third divided by x to the third is simply 1. So this simplifies to the cube root of 9. Plus 36 divided by 3 is 12. x to the fifth divided by x to the third is going to be x squared. The cube root of 9 may not be simplified. The cube root of 12x squared, the 12, may not be simplified. So this is our final answer. Twenty-seven. For twenty-seven, we have um, different roots here. We have the fourth root of c to the sixth and the fifth root of c to the fifth. So we'll simplify. The fourth root of c to the sixth, c to the sixth can be broken down into c to the fourth, 
times z squared. And then c to the fourth is perfect. Out comes its root, which would be c. So we have c, fourth root of c squared. Now our denominator, the fifth root of c to the fifth, well, that's perfect. What is this fifth root of c to the fifth? It's c. Bring over our c. And now reduce. These c's divide out. So our final answer is the fourth root of c squared. And number 29, I'm going to save for um, in class tomorrow. So this completes our video for tonight.